Kids Liz here with another video for you and today I'm going to be doing a mani with these two colors. This is Unicorn Ice by Sparkle Infusion and it's a silver hollow with some shards, hollow shards in there. And Girly Grunge is a beautiful purple color with like a blue shimmer to it. So for this mani I am going to show you how to do some color blocking, give you some tips and tricks there, and also how to use the striping tape. So for this first nail, I freehanded my line and then used this puncture tool that I got from the Dollar Tree to clean it up and then used a little piece of baggie to push down those glitters. Whenever you're using something like a striping tape or foils or anything like that to kind of cover up those lines, they don't have to be completely perfect. So freehand worked fine for this one. So these are some guides that I got from um, Amazon. They work so well. I definitely recommend them if you're doing a lot of color blocking to pick some of these up. They're pretty cheap and they're, they work so well for color blocking. Did I say that already? I feel like I said that twice. But anyway, so I'm just using the tweezers and I kind of fool with these for a little bit here to get them perfect because um, really, the, all of the work is getting these stickers on there correctly and straight. And then once you have them on there, uh, the way that you want them and looking really good, they make it so much easier to do your color blocking and make sure that your color blocking is perfect. Um, you do want to make sure that you kind of push them into that little space between your nail and your um, skin. That way you don't have a lot of this base leaking underneath the stickers and then I'm just gonna pour over and clean up so it makes it like I said it makes it so much easier I can I say that again do I need to say that again <laughs> get these guides they're so worth it um, the last nail uh, I decide to use a piece of a washi tape washi tape yeah um, to <laughs> to kind of make sure that I get the mirror image of this other line that I did a little bit easier using the tape. I like this Scotch brand washi tape because it's a little bit more um, durable, a little thicker than some of the other washi tape. So I feel like it works a little bit better for color blocking than some of the other washi tape. Um, but you can pretty much use whatever kind of tape that you have. So after you kind of get it in place, the glitter how you want it and kind of clean up all these areas, then you can just take that tape off. Um, I, I suggest taping the, taking the tape off sooner rather than later um, because if you wait too long to take that tape off then the dip powder may dry too much and then you're going to have a hard time getting it off or you may have some tape that's left there. And, but if, you, if that does happen then you can you know just file it off. I've done that before. Just be very careful if you are working on your natural nail. So I, this is the second coat of purple for my middle finger. And then I will go ahead and take off those guides off, um, as well for this finger. Again, I wanted to take it off before it dried too much. But uh, with these guides, I, I find that they hold up a little bit better if um, you, after you take them off. So you can wait a little bit longer to take those off if you need to. So and I also put another coat of glitter on both my ring finger and my index finger before moving on to the purple for those fingers. So for the rest of these fingers, I do just um, paint it in there very carefully, paint my base in there to um, put the other colors on these fingers. You can put some tape over the glitter or over the color that you um, are not doing just to help 
so that you don't get any dip powder on those spots. Um, you just have to make sure that it's dried well enough so that you're not taking any of that dip off when you take the tape off. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have done the purple first and then did the glitter on all of these nails, but um, they all turned out fine. So it, you know, it was, it was okay, but it would have been a lot easier. You see me trying to get some of that purple off that glitter. And that would have been a lot easier to do had I done the um, purple first, but um, it all turned out fine. So it just would have been a little bit easier. So I'm just telling you so you can learn from my mistakes. So you don't have to struggle as much as I did. So I did two dips of color on everything except for my thumb. I did three just to get a richer color, but it probably would have been fine with just two dips. So once that glitter is dry, you can take your cuticle nippers like you see me doing here and clip any spots that are kind of hanging over to clean that up. I'm gonna leave in the rest of this video just in case you want to watch how I finish up the rest of this dipping process. If not, then you can head into the description and jump to where I start the tape. So you want to make sure that your nails are really nice and smooth before you start the striping tape. So I will file and buff really smooth and then activate again just to make sure it's super smooth. I'm going to be using this kind of black hollow tape and I just got this out of a random kit. I, it was just kind of like a freebie that I got so it's probably not the best striping tape but um, it works. I'll striping tape I think is pretty much the same. So I'm just cutting off a smaller piece of tape so it's easier to work with. Um, a little bit bigger than what I actually need for the nail design that I'm doing. And I got these little tiny scissors at the Dollar Tree. They are so cute and they work really well. Definitely recommend picking some of those up if you can find them. And then I'm just going to kind of stretch this over my nail where I need it 
this kind of helps it to curve more to your finger when you kind of pull it and stretch it across. And then I'm gonna use my cuticle nippers just to kind of nip it where I need it because that will get really close up to that line where I'm trying to create that point. And I felt like, um, you know, I kind of struggled a little bit here, but I felt like these smaller pieces because it wasn't all the way across my nail, I felt like that was a little bit easier to do than the ones that were going all the way across my nail. So even though it looks like it's a lot more difficult to do like a smaller section like this with the tape, it actually uh, is a little bit easier. So that one is pretty much done. I just need to clip the ends of it. You want to clip it a, like a hair shorter than what your nail is. That way you will have a little bit of space to kind of cap or encapsulate that tape in the um, top coat and that way you don't have any that's going to hang off and possibly get snagged or get pulled off. So I just use my finger to just kind of make sure that it's all stuck down really well and that one is done. So I'm going to do the same thing for this bottom V and I will leave all of this footage in here in case you like to watch me struggle with the striping tape. Um, yes, I do struggle with this striping tape. I think everybody does. It's just a difficult thing to work with at times. Um, but yeah, so I'll let you watch me here with this and I will catch back up with you in a little bit. Right here I am checking to see if this tape is going to bleed whenever I put base on it and at first I thought that it was okay um, so I started with the base but actually found out later that it does bleed with the base it just takes a little while so um, I definitely suggest you testing your tape first this is what you will do um, to encapsulate if it doesn't bleed with the base but if it does bleed with the base then you will need to use gel liquids so right here i'm showing you where it did bleed and i ended up having to file all of that off and redoing all of that tape so you know you live and you learn sometimes you learn the hard way if it doesn't bleed with the base coat, then you can encapsulate it in clear, buff, and then do your top coat. If it bleeds, then you're going to need to use a gel top coat. So make sure that you do a thin layer of base coat first, cure for 30 seconds, and then do your top coat. This will make sure that the top coat adheres to the dip powder. After I cure the top coat for 60 seconds, that nail is done and we're ready to do the other nails. So like I mentioned before, these nails can be a little bit more difficult because it is all the way across your nail, so you're having to line it up. And it's also having to fit the curve of your nail, which it wants to kind of pull up on the sides. So what I find is, if you see how I'm holding it with one finger and then pulling it with the tweezers and that kind of helps it to kind of stretch a little bit and pull it over the curve of that nail so that the tape will fit that curve and again you want to make sure that you clip it a little bit shorter than your nail another little tip if you hold the tape to the side like you see me doing here, it's a little bit easier to find where the tape is coming off if you lose it. So this angle is a little bit better. You can see me holding it with my thumb and really pulling that tape down on that other side. 
and see it lifted up on that side so I had to pull it and stretch it on this side as well to make sure that it really fit the curve of my nail but once I did that it stayed down really well after that the tape the way that you want it then you are going to finish off again with base coat then top coat I did mess up and ended up putting top base coat twice but in that I learned that you can encapsulate if you want it to be super smooth you can bit encapsulate with two layers of base coat then you just buff it uh, buff it smooth and then do another layer of base coat and top coat. I always finish off my mini with cuticle oil and I love this sparkle infusion cuticle oil. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend giving it a try and you can get 20% off with my code. I will link that in the description. If you liked this video, make sure that you give it a like. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I, and I hope to see you next time.